<laughs> What's that? What? I'm getting ready. Hello, everybody. I am Chelsea Smith, and this is Alex Muchler. Hey, guys. Muchler87, Instagram. Check me out. What? <laughs> plug, 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 plug. I swear you said plug, 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 but plug, plug. <laughs> First off, excuse the like super jankety background. I thought it would look a lot better than it does. Looks festive. I don't know, no, it's like literally wrapping paper. So we just released a video. The, the Logan Paul parody of Help Me Help You called Get A New Do was released yesterday. So we just wanna do a little bit of a debriefing and tell you a little about what our thoughts were, what our vision was and how we made it happen. So I'm gonna ask Alex some questions and we'll both kind of respond. What do you know of Logan Paul? So when Chelsea asked me, you know who Logan Paul is, of course. I was like, oh yeah. And the only thing that I really knew about him was I was thinking of Jake Paul. No. And yeah, and the reason, the only reason why is because one of the guys I follow online who's an entrepreneur, he said like, guys, those of you who make fun of like YouTube, Facebook, all this stuff, like people are making it. And he talked about Jake Paul and how he just got the new Lamborghini, how he just got his new house and all this stuff. Get this. Yeah. I cannot stand yeah. Jake Paul. Yeah. Like I literally can't watch half of a second of his video without being like, I literally can't stand him. He causes so much drama. Have you seen any of that? You go to yeah. his page, he kicks people out of his stupid Team 10, like all this stuff. Like I. I don't care roasting him. Is he ever gonna see this? Probably. No, and I think part of that's his plan. Like, really? I, think, I honestly yeah. don't think. Here's the thing. I think Logan is strategic, and he's a bro, but he also is strategic, and he's like, this is how I want my persona to be. This is what I want my image to be. He has it. But with Jake, I feel like he is just like randomly shooting and just doing random stuff where he just wants to be as big as possible and show all his fancy yeah. shit. And like when Logan does something fancy, he's he you can still see the bro. Like yeah. he's getting a school bus and decking it out, but he's not doing it to like show sure everyone he can deck out can a spend. school bus. He's not going to Gucci and spending $12,000 to like show you he can do that. Yeah. He's literally like, what am I doing? Like this is insane. Like he yeah. admits that he thinks it's crazy and he's just a little guy from Ohio, but I think I think Jake is like, no, seriously. No, I think Jake probably watches more Ty Lopez. Like, you know, here I am in my garage with my Ferrari right. or my Lamborghini. Yeah, oh look, there's a beautiful girl reading a book in my house. Oh wait, there's a different, it's like, you just hired them, but either way. Do you know who Alyssa Violet is? Nope. Okay, so Alyssa Violet and Jake Paul were like a thing-ish and like she, like, exited team 10 and then she's basically like roasted Jake Paul super heavy and I believe her like I believe the things she says yeah. about him and mm. I'm just like I don't think you could find this kind of dirt on Jake or on on Logan yeah like I really think Logan is a really good person he's a he's gotten a little inflated like he definitely thinks oh, he's yeah. amazing but like you have to you have to yeah. be a little bit like obsessed with yourself well, to make it work and all the dumb stuff he does to like his like what is it? Like his manager and stuff? That little short girl? Like house manager? Like <laughs> yeah, he does he it on... He a new on... one like every couple weeks. Uh oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I would freaking wipe his butt to get the following you'll get from being his man or his assistant. Like he's had like 10 assistants since, since he started this thing. And each one of them like I think is the smartest choice you could ever do because yeah, you get pooped on for a couple of months while you're his yeah. assistant. But all of those girls, I've looked them up. They have a following that they shouldn't have. Does yeah. that make sense? Oh, yeah. A lot of the people that star in Jake Paul and Logan Paul's Instagram or their, even like their, their feed at all. You look at their profile and it's like, okay, they're kind of annoying. Their content's not that great, but they have like, they add like a hundred thousand followers in one week. And it's like, crap. It's because of Logan. In a way, I think he doesn't care that everyone's like siphoning his stardom. No. But also like there are people like Mark Doner. Do you know who that is? Nope. So Mark Doner, I really, really like. He is, went to Ohio. Yeah. I have a sidebar in my head, okay, but go. why do you think um, Logan Paul is in these videos with The Rock? The Rock is in the top, I think the top five Instagram followers. I mean, he's not stupid. That, like, that's his. No, but I just watched something <laughs> on Logan, like, with The Rock. Yeah. And Logan thinks he's doing The Rock a favor. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you 
<laughs> like when you have a following of the 15 age. million people yeah. from the age of like 13 to 20, he likes to take on brands and say like, I will yeah. promote this for you. And that's kind of what the deal is. So he doesn't have a traditional Hollywood background. He doesn't yeah. have the drama background. He doesn't have the theater, but he like knows comedy. He's, he's good. But it doesn't hurt that The Rock was like the highest grossing actor like two years ago. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because he had like either. three box office number ones in one year. So I, I don't think he exactly needs Logan Paul, but it's definitely it's a mutually beneficial relationship. The Millionaire King Mentor. Batch, like those you know who he is? The yeah. Millionaire. Jeremy, I always say his name wrong, but it's like Jeremy McElroy or McGilroy or something. Mm -hmm. He's like his little buddy. But his following is growing like crazy because he's got the number one entrepreneurial influencer on Instagram backing his courses on how to build an Instagram like daily. I've seen people with a ton of followers that have like good stuff, but it's not like yeah. amazing, <clears throat> which is I think what you were talking about before. Like people yeah. are like, oh, like you really think you can make a dent? And I'm like, no, I like, I do think we can make a dent because I've seen other people make a dent with less than yeah. what we can bring. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I think that just this video that we just posted, like, I think it's like a good example of like the beginning. Like yeah. that's like, this is only the brink of what we can do. And this was like doing exactly what those other people are doing is floating off of somebody else's stardom because that's how you get started. Yeah. That's why giving is the number one, like any entrepreneur or success minded person will tell you giving is the number one way to be successful. And it's not because you're giving it's because you're when you give you're giving to other people and then they want to give back and it's like when the right. rock gives to somebody like logan paul like oh hey i'll go spend 30 minutes with logan paul and you know do this like bro video then he has 15 million people that watch that video so many times and they're like oh we love the rock now let's go follow him on instagram right. and everybody that meets the rock says he's the nicest guy well I mean, I'm sure he is the nicest guy through and through, but one of the reasons he's the nicest is because he's the most successful and vice versa. Yeah, I haven't met that many really successful people that didn't have, like, didn't start with a good heart. Like, yeah. I think that you can sometimes be changed a little bit or, yeah. or what you were gonna be has been amplified. So like, you <clears> might've <throat> been like, an, like a, a spender. Yeah. But like, now that you have a bunch of money, you're still a spender, you're just, exponentially like a bigger spent like you are the same person you're just like amplified by like fame and money and all that stuff i may be quoting oprah but it's like, <laughs> she's whatever. worth quoting yeah no oprah's awesome she um, made dr phil a billionaire by the way really yeah dr phil's a billionaire he was like a nobody oprah's like hey i trust this guy read his books listen to him tell this 14 year old not to yell at his mom and he's a billionaire like five years later okay, i'm pretty sure bad bobby made dr phil a billionaire no Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, make sure that you like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And thank you so much to Alex, our all-star. Like and subscribe. To Alex? Yeah, just Are to me Are you plugging your channel on my channel? Yeah.